right? So the people that's walking to and fro, you're not Haitian, you're not Jamaican, you're not Puerto Rican, you're not Cuban, and you are a Hebrew Israelite according to the Bible. We come out here to prove that to you because for so long, our people have been oppressed. Right. It's evident that our people is the only people that's oppressed as much as we are. The so-called white man don't go through what we go through. The so-called East Indian don't go through what the, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans go through. Why is it that only we go through the atrocities and the oppression that we go through? Why is it in that every state that you go to, there's only black people in the hood? There's only Hispanics in the hood. Do you agree with that, sis? Bring it it's, it, it's a problem that only our people's in the hoods, that only our people live in the condition that we in. Right? But there's a reason for that. And we, and we come out here to bring that out. So let me, let me open up with uh, Colossians 3 and 17. The book of Colossians chapter 3 and verse 17. Right. And whatsoever you do in word or deed, do all in the name of the other one, Yahweh Shai, giving thanks to the Allah Haim and the Abba by him. Right. So everything we're going to say, we're going to bring it out, out of the scriptures. Right. At the same time, giving thanks to the Most High through Yahweh Shai for giving us his truth. Right. Right. Let me open up with uh, Romans 12 and 1. Right, us coming out here, trying to teach you guys the word, teach the, uh, uh, the the people that's gonna actually listen to the word. It's a sacrifice, right? We could be home doing. Yo, what's going on, y'all, brother? Y'all boys gonna be out rolling loud. Y'all boys, y'all boys, you for the chop it? I chop it out with me, bro. I'm your brother. Chop it out with me real quick. Oh man. Oh, you sinning right now? So you know, you know, you going off. <laughs> Yeah, you out here still sitting. That don't make no sense, brother. If you know better, you're you supposed to do better. Go ahead, read that for me. Right? The book of Romans, chapter 12, and verse 1. Right. I beseech you, therefore, brethren, right. by the mercies of Yahweh, right. that ye present your bodies a living sacrifice. Right, so we are here presenting our bodies a living sacrifice. Because we could be home. What's going on, brother? You ever seen this out here before? You wanna you wanna find out why we out here? Why why we out here? Thank you, Jesus. That's not his name. His name is Hamashiach Yahweh. That's the, that's his true name in the Hebrew. See, that's why we out here. We are to teach our people the truth according to the Bible, right? Right. We come out here to present ourselves a living sacrifice. We sacrifice our time, our energy, right? We standing up here four, five, six, seven hours, coming out for our people to teach our people to come back to God, right? Come back to the law, statutes, and commandments, so we can get out of the oppression that we in. Yes, right? right? It's not. It's not no easy work. Right? We young brothers up here. We could be out. We we could be uh, uh, caked up with our, our our wives at home. But what? We love our people so much that we come out to call you guys back to the Most High. Right. So you guys can keep the the Most High's commandments, so we can get out of this captivity. That's right. Because America is not our rest. Right? You walk, y'all walk down Winwood, and it feels good. You know, you dress good, you smell good, people giving you attention, right? You trying to give the, the uh, if you a man, you giving the girls attention. The girls, they love the compliments. But all that stuff is vain. What's going on, brother? You, 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 I ain't gonna lie, you look like a very wise brother. Her chop it up with me for real for, for like five minutes. Five minutes. All right, all okay. right. Appreciate That's you, brother. Praise. Appreciate you. I'll praise you. I'll praise you. You ever seen this out here before? All right, so we come out here to teach our people that the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, they're the true Israelites of the Bible, right? There's no lost tribes of Israel. We're that so-called lost tribe, right? right? The, thing, the thing what makes it lost, right, is the so-called white man, they took our history and whitewashed it to make us believe that, that it has nothing to do with us. They, they turned Jesus white. They turned the prophets in the Bible, everyone white, right. right? And it made us go away from the Bible. Man, that's a white man's book. In reality, the truth is, it's our history book, right? Right. Our ancestors is in the scriptures. Let me, let me ask you something. Bro, I know about this part. Right? You know about this part? Yeah, my people Levi, bro. Oh, that's, oh, that's right. right. I'm, I'm Levi too. Levi, Levi, I'm Levi, Levi too. So that's what that, you feel me? What got me in this truth is reading these scriptures and seeing my people in, in the Bible. Seeing what they what they do, what they was doing. Because what, what are we known for as Haitians in Haiti? For voodoo, you know, we sacrifice animals and stuff like that, right? Part, part of it, right? But the thing is, 
we do that on the that's 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 the unrighteous way of doing that. You know what I'm saying? In the scriptures, come go ahead, read that. The book of Genesis, chapter 49 and verse 5. Right. Simeon and Levi are brethren. Right. Simeon, you see who Simeon? Simeon. Come. Simeon is a Dominican Republic. Read that from the top. Genesis 49 and 5. Right. Simeon and Levi are brethren. It says Simeon and Levi are brethren. The so-called Haitians and, and the Domin Dominicans were brethren. Right? The Dominicans there, they we they, they try to say, oh, we not black, we not, you know, descendants of black people, we're Hispanic. But in reality, we're brethren. We're this we got the same blood running through our, our veins. Right. Right? And that's what's been uh, 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 instilled on our brain that we're separate people. That we that I'm separate from from Jamaicans. Jamaicans is different people. I'm separate from Cubans and and um and everyone on these uh, on this sign, right? But in reality, we all one nation. Right now, how we know that we're the same people is by the curses that's been put on the Israelites that was prophesied in the Bible, right? So let me get that Deuteronomy. 28 and 15. So like, let me finish. Okay, come on, go ahead. Genesis chapter 4, verse 5. Right. Simeon and Levi are brethren. Right. Instruments of cruelty are in their habitation. Instruments of cruelty. Kupete Bulekai. That's what we that's what we bought. That's right. We have that's in, right. instruments of cruelty. You know what I'm saying? The Dominicans, they got that spirit too. Yeah, they they be dancing, you know, you know, kind of, you know. Machata? My, my, my yeah, yeah, they be dancing down machata, but they quit <laughs> do the same thing. They'll cut your head, they'll, they'll cut your head out, bring down your house too. You know what I'm saying? Because we're instruments of cruelty. That was prophesied in the Bible. That's how we know we the people. You feel me? Now, yeah, Deuteronomy 28, 15. Okay, come. Right, so how we also know that we're the Israelites is based on the curses that were put on our people. So let me ask you. In Haiti right now, you see what's going on. You know what I'm saying? The assassination happened. You feel me? And now it's just straight, like, it, it, it's straight turmoil out there, right? The gangs is trying to, you know, take over. You got the police, like, not really, you know, they got no control, really. You know what I'm saying? And for the most part, the people is, well, well, it, it is in a poor state. You know what I'm saying? Us as people, as Haitian people in Haiti, they're 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 in a poor state. That's that's a curse that was prophesied in the Bible that happened to us. So go ahead and read that. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter twenty-eight and verse fifteen. So let me tell you why our people is in that state right now. That's right. That's right. right? That's right. Go ahead. But it shall come to pass, right, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Most High, thy power, right, to observe to do all His commandments, right. So the Most High power, the Most High God that we learned about in church. Right, he is the he's only the God of the Israelites. He's not the God of everyone, right. like the church teaches. Right, he's only your God. Right, let me prove that. Joel two and twenty seven. That's right. That's right. That's right. Let me prove that the God that we that we say, oh no, oh like my God, that is only our God. Right. Go ahead, read that. The book of Joel, chapter 2 and verse 27. Right. And ye shall know that I am in the midst of Israel. Right. He's only in the midst of Israel. We're, we're Israel right now, right? Go ahead, read that. And that I am the most high, your God. The most high, who's? God? Your God. Your God, right. And none else. And none else. So he's only your God. He's only dealing with the Israelites, only us, right? So let's go back. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 15 Right But it shall come to pass Right If thou would not hearken Unto the voice of the Most High thy God mm -hmm. To observe To do all his commandments All his All his what? All his commandments So Our God gave us commandments That the Israelites are supposed to keep Right He said In, in verse 1 Of uh, 28 verse 1 Go ahead read that The book of Deuteronomy 28 and 1 Right And it shall come to pass Right If thou shall hearken right so if we do hear right go ahead unto the voice of the most high thy god right to observe and to do all his commandments right if we do all his commandments right which i command thee this day mm -hmm. that the most high thy god right will set thee on high above all nations of the earth he will set us on high above all nations of the earth that's that's the true that's the 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 minimum we're supposed to be at Right, as a people, we're supposed to be above our people on the nation of this earth, right? But where are we at? Uh, um, uh, continue reading. Can, can you read it from there? All these blessings, verse 2, all these blessings shall come upon thee and overtake thee. Right, so all these blessings, right. so we're supposed to be blessed as a people. 
right? We're not supposed to be walking, you know, trying to catch the buzz, you know what I'm saying? We're not, we're supposed to be pulling up Benz, you know, S550, you know what I'm saying? E450, whatever, AMG packages, all that, you know what I'm saying? We're supposed, right. to, we're supposed to be doing that because we keep the most high God's commandments, right? Now go back to 15. Come on, I got a, uh, on the point that you want. Okay. Verse on. 28 and verse 43. Come on. The stranger that is within thee. Well, before that, before that, before that. Okay. Yeah, I want to just listen. Okay, come yeah. On. So go, okay. yeah, come on. Book of 28, 15. Come on. But it shall come to pass mm -hmm. if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Most High thy power. Right, so if we don't listen to the Most High God and we don't keep his commandments, right? Go ahead. To observe to do all his commandments right. and his statutes which I command thee this day. Right. That all these curses, all these what, all these curses, all these curses, right? Keep reading. Shall come upon thee, right, and overtake thee. Over, and, and all these curses will come uh, upon us. Now, would you say the Haitians are in a blessed state right now or a cursed state? It's messed up out there, right? I already know how you feel because you about to say you know you about to drop that bomb. You feel me? But that is true. You messed up out there like crazy. We in a cursed state. And, and it's because we didn't hearken to the Most High's commandments. We didn't. I got a question about What's good? What's good? Do you feel like it's because we didn't keep the covenant? I mean, the covenant, or do you feel like, you know what I'm saying? It's because, because in the Bible, it says God gave the world to the devil, like, right? you know what I'm saying? That's true. Right, he gave he, he gave the um the earth into the hand of the wicked. That's Job 9 24. That's why, like, look around, like, everything out here is wicked, right? Like, that's true. That's true. Like, that's the reason cuz really like, like this made huh. you hell. You could be in hell already on some shit, right? That's right. You, you speak you speak of very you speak some very wise words, but let me let me strengthen that with the scriptures, you know what I'm saying? Cuz what you're saying is in is found in the scriptures. Yeah, most people like they're trying to knock it. I'm not trying to knock it. None of this not being in my life, bro. My whole life so at the end of the day it's in my heart already. Like, I already know about y'all for sure, for sure. This this spirit beareth witness. Yeah. But let me let me give you this scripture real quick to strengthen what you're saying right now. Yeah, I just got a question about that part. Is it because like we broke the covenant or is it because it's already messed up out here? Like it's I got you. I'm answering your question. I got you. The book of Leviticus, chapter 26, and verse 15. Right. And if ye shall despise my statutes, right, or if your soul abhor my judgments, mm -hmm. so that ye will not do all my commandments. Right. So so if we hate the most high God's commandments, right? And we just say, man. Forget them, them commandments. We're not even going to keep them, right? Keep reading. But that ye break my covenant. Right. I also will do this unto you. He said if we break his covenant, right? Because that's what you're asking. If it's because we broke his covenant, right? Go ahead, read that. I will even appoint over you terror. Over you what? Terror. Right. Consumption. Right. And the burning on that shall consume the eyes and cause and cause sorrow of heart. Right. All that is what we go through. Sorrow of heart. I know you got family in Haiti right now. I know you think about them land thing, bro. I hope they don't get caught up in what's going on out there, right? There's a bunch of stuff going on. Most high forbid, you know, there's a lot of kidnappers going on out there, you feel me? Like we just I hope that's how bad it is, right? They had to move, they had to move out of their homeland. They they um uh, they fatherland, right? So what you're asking is that's why that's happening to us. It's because we did break the covenant. We did break the Most High's laws, statutes, and commandments. That's not, that 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 is the covenant that we're supposed to keep His laws, statutes, and commandments. He's supposed to be our God, continues to bless us, but we didn't keep it. So yes, there's a lot of temptation out here that tempts us to go off and break the commandments, but the Most High gives us a way to to let me get that first on um, First Corinthians ten thirteen. The Most High gives us a way to escape all that temp uh, temptation. That's right. That's right? right. All like right now, today's the Sabbath day. We're not even supposed to be really like uh, uh, um, our people's not supposed to be out here buying and selling. You know. You know. Basically, yeah. Basically, that we're supposed to be home in the scriptures, studying our scriptures. We out here uh, compelling our people to come back to keeping the laws and come back to observing the Sabbath. How we supposed to, right? That's the only reason why we out here, right? To call people like you back to the scriptures, back to the commandments, right. right? But being out here right now, you're gonna be surrounded by a whole kinds of temptation to go off and break the commandments, right? So, but, there's more than that, 613. 
No, but that's the thing. We we technically can't follow every one of them because there's script, there's there's commandments that pertain to women. So we can't keep keep those. But there's some that you can keep today, and, and they're very easy. You know what? Right, but we that you already know. Deuteronomy 10 to 12. Only I stop is because it's something I'm familiar with already. Okay, that's real. Right, right, right. And that's real. Now, knowing that you're an Israelite, right? Just knowing it is not enough. It's a it's a lifestyle. It's a it's a culture. Just like how on January 1st, you're gonna get that Sujumu, right? To to commemorate our independence, right? You don't like it? Okay, I, what about the hot chocolate? Okay, yeah, right, you gonna, you gonna do something. For sure, for sure. But you're gonna do something to, to commemorate that day, right? Because you know that that's 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 the same way it is when we come back to knowing that we're Israelites. Right. We have to come back and keep the feast, come back to keep the commandments, come back to keeping the, the high holy days. Because this is part of our original culture. Right. You know what I'm saying? So um, um go ahead, read that. Book of Deuteronomy chapter 10 and verse 12. Right. And now Israel. Right. And now Israel, you know, he's talking about us, right? What doth the most high thy power require of thee? So now, so since you already know that you're an Israelite, the most high has a requirement for us, right? It's something that we got to be doing now that we know that we're Israelite, right? Go ahead. But to fear the most high thy God. To fear the most high thy God. That word fear means to respect them, right? Respect the scriptures. Right, Res respect everything about the Most High. Right, keep reading. To walk in all His ways. Right, to walk in all His ways, not doing your own thing, not thinking you're the man. I, I think I could do it this way. No, nah, you gotta stay 100 percent on how the Most High said it because it's black and white. Right, keep reading. And to love Him. And to love Him. Now, do you know what it means to love God? It's, it's all right, you You'll be surprised. You'll, you'll be surprised how, how 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 simple the answer is, right? You got you got that. Come, on. the book of First John, chapter five and verse three. Right. For this is the love of God. So this is the love of God. This is how you show God love, right? That we keep His commandments. That we do what? That we keep His commandments. That we keep His commandments. So the what crime is that He's He give He give us is to keep His commandments, brother. So let me give you a few commandments now. Do you eat do you eat pork? You don't eat pork, you don't eat shrimp, no shellfish. Okay, so DC, these are the things that you already know. All right, all right, cool, cool, cool. What do you mean your people, like your parents? You gonna tune in, yeah, see, and, and that's that's the most high though, because because you didn't know we was gonna be out here when you left your crib today, right? The most high, the most high made it so that you will walk past us and and be fed more of the word that that you know you got your uh, the seed got planted already too. You know what I'm saying? But, Right, but we're not worried about those people because two two thirds of our people got to get destroyed anyways. I come, we come out here for the people that's gonna stop. Right, 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 exactly. The book, of, the book of John, chapter ten and verse twenty-seven. Right, my sheep hear my voice. Right, my sheep hear my voice. See, I was not speaking, right? And I know them, right? And they follow me. Yeah, and he knows you, and they follow, and, and that's what we got. We got to come back to. Right. So, so now that you, you know this, right? Because it seems like, like you needed to to find us. You know what I'm saying? Like, for sure, for sure. But uh, well, go ahead. But you gotta be on this side, brother. 
right, we got, army, man. Yeah, we building up an army right now. Like right now, the one of the commandments that you could be keeping right now is wearing these fringes, right? I get what you're saying. This is a mafia, man. I don't do, I don't do mafias. I'm, I, walk, I walk by myself, bro. I'm 10, 25. I feel you, but scriptures, scriptures say a man is known by they look, right? So if you if you out here sagging your pants, you know if you're going to look at you? Ass or oh, thug, you this and that. You feel me? I know you already get flat. What's going on, y'all? Y'all ever heard? Y'all ever heard of y'all being Israelites? Y'all ever heard of the Hebrew Israelites? No, bro. All right, so I'm gonna let y'all know. Y'all like Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible. Continue, 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 continue. But yeah, our people, like people's gonna look at you. I already know people uh, uh, judge you automatically off your dress. You know what I'm saying? They already put stigma on it, you feel me? But that's the thing. When you start to dress and look like an Israelite, everything around you changes. Right. Right? People gonna look at you different. People gonna be like, damn, why is this black man uh, 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 he's, he's, he, he looks so righteous. He, he acts so righteous. Like, uh, what, 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 what's gotten into him? Right? People's gonna look at you different. They're gonna treat you different, too. It's not that you're joining a gang. You're just going back to your true nationality. Right. I said that. It's just, bro, I've always been a loner, bro. And I'm, I'll be sitting here lying to you. Sitting here. Zephaniah 2 and 1. Oh, oh God. Okay. Right. What you got? What you got? Hebrews 10 and 25. Hey, my gal, get, get, have, the, the book of Hebrews, chapter 10 and verse 24. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works, not forsaking the assemblies of ourselves together. See, but that's the thing. Your female not supposed to be. Oh, oh, oh okay, okay. I yeah, yeah, yeah. But this, this is supposed to be your ultimate God right here, though. Once you commit yourself to this, to this scripture, everything is going to align. Right? Whoever, whatever woman comes into your life, they gotta align with you and they gotta align with the scriptures. I know, I know, I'm just using that as an example too. You know what I'm saying? Like once they come into your life, they got they gotta be about what you about. And if you about the most high God, they got she gotta be about these scriptures too. So where you ain't gotta deal with oh uh, arguments and, and all these things, how she dressed and everything like that. She gotta be keeping the commandments too. But read this, read, read that again. So like the book of Hebrews, chapter ten, verse twenty-four. Right. And let us consider one another to provoke unto love and to good works. Right. So you so being around brothers like us, we're gonna provoke love, true like true love according to the Bible, keeping the commandments, right? Promoting good works, right? Doing the things that are pleasing to the Most High God, right? Not forsaking the assemblies of ourselves together. Right, not forsaking the assemblies, because that's what we got to do. We got to come together. We got to assemble, right? For, for a very long time, the so-called white man wants to keep us separate. They want us to be Bloods and Crips and, and MS-13 and all these different gangs where we all the same people. Right. But we look at each, at each other as an enemy. That's, that's, that was purposely put on us. Uh, we got a YouTube, we got a YouTube page that you can check out our videos on. For sure, for sure. Yeah, that's the fly. I appreciate you stopping though, brother. That's the spirit, for real. Oh yeah, kind, kind. Um, yeah, let me get 15 numbers, 1538. The book of Numbers, chapter 15 and verse 38. Right. And the Most High spake unto, oh, Salah. Verse 38. Right. Speak unto the children of Israel. Right. So speak unto the children of Israel. He's talking to you, brother. Nope. What was your name, brother? I didn't even get it. All right, Jordan. My name is Asaph. Asaph. So, Jordan, the script is talking to you, right? Oh, yeah. Okay, 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 okay. All right. So you know some. Go Book ahead, of Numbers chapter 15, 38. Right. Speak unto the children of Israel right. and bid them that they make the fringes in the borders of their garments. Right. So, so brother, if you're able to come through to the school, one of the commandments that that we can help you start keeping is put is wearing fringes. Wearing That's fringes. That's right. a commandment. Right. Read that. Put make them fringes in the borders of their garments right. throughout right. their generations. Throughout their generations. That means when you have kids, you have kids. 
Okay, so your son, you gotta teach your son to wear fringes also, because this is a generational thing, it's a perpetual generational thing. Right, can you read it? And they that put upon of oh, Salah. And that they put upon the fringe of the borders a ribbon of blue. Right, so we got the ribbon of blue with the fringes. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead, read that. And it shall be unto you for a fringe. It'll be unto us as a fringe, a reminder. Right? Why, why, what do we got to be reminded of? Right? Go ahead, go ahead, read that. That ye may look upon it. Right. And remember all the commandments of the Most High. To remember all the commandments of the Most High. That's why, that's why we wear these fringes. So if we about to go and do something that we're not supposed to do according to the Most High his, and His laws, we got to look down like, oh, I can't lie. I can't do that. I can't, I, can't, I can't do this. You know what I'm saying? That's the purpose of these fringes. That's why it's so important for us to wear it. Right? So that's just one law that you can, that you, that you can start keeping. You know, come through. You feel me? Ah, for sure. Check us out, bro. For sure, Jordan. Nah, appreciate you. So I praise right, right, Levi you. raising up, man. Levi raising up. Levi raising up, man. We come out here to teach our people, you know. Kwam and if you look, Kwam even Kwam Lo Ya. That's right. Lo Ya. That's right. You know what I'm saying? We waking up in these last days, right? Even a lot of our people, they know. A lot of our people, they know that uh, that they're Israelites, right? But that's why we come out here to do this work. Right to water that 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 uh, that seed that was planted, right. they may know, but they just didn't have that that uh, 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 that that extra information that they needed, that right? Right. All praise to the Most High for this work, man. Right. That's why we come out here. We sacrifice our time. We sacrifice our energy. Right. The the book ahead, of read that. First Come. Corinthians chapter three and verse six. Come. I have planted Apollos water. Right. But Yahweh gave the increase. Yahweh gives the ultimate he gives the increase. All we can do is plant the seed. All we can do is come out here and, and, and tell our people, you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, you are the descendants of the Israelites according to the Bible. You guys have to repent and keep the commandments. Right? Everything else that comes after that. It's, it's by the will of, uh, uh, of, of the Most High through Yahweh Shah.